Good morning, welcome to vlog number 63, I think. Um, I have no idea if that's right or not. It's Wednesday today and I, that's quite early filming wise for me. Um, I'm really out of breath because I've got a cold and I've just been running up and down the stairs getting ready. Whew. I am off to a shoot today, about half an hour away from me, over sort of Morden Tiptree direction. Um, and it's quite a cool one today. I am shooting for Hi Ho, who obviously you've seen in my vlogs like a gazillion times. I'm wearing all their stuff today. Um, they want some product shoots, um, just not for the website or anything, just for social media. Um, and just asked if I would like to be involved. Um, so I'm going to get creative. They've sent me a whole box. I'll show you. They've sent me this whole box full of goodies. Um, there's bracelets, rings, necklaces, earrings, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see what I can do with them. So little outfit of the day check in my new outfit of the day mirror. <laughs> um, I feel like such a vlogger. Um, I am wearing this gilet from Rydale which is lovely it's so warm and it's actually really roomy um it's like got quite a lot of gib in it it's really nice um this stripy top is just I think from H&M jeans from Next obviously and then my Ariat um Windermere furs which I'm really really loving at the moment I've been walking the dog in them a lot I've been down the yard in them um, and they're just as comfy as my ordinary Windermere's, which I have lived and died in for about three years. Um, but they have fur, so they're also super warm. Um, yeah, so that's me. I've got my hi-ho jewellery on, obviously. My necklace and my bracelet. Yeah, ready to go. I'm going to put my tweed in the car as well, I think, because at the moment I just have no idea how cold it's going to be. <laughs> Do you like my print behind? Look, I'll show you that later. I have Bertie. Have a box of high height, and then in here we have Rue. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went well. That was fun. Um, I didn't really film too much of it because it's quite difficult to film. I'm just sort of standing them in a doorway. Um, what high hair are after are the black background photos. Um, so yeah, not very interesting. But I will insert some photos here. So yeah, that was good. So um, that's all the jewellery that I've been photographing and I apologise to the hi-ho team because they are not going to come back as beautifully wrapped as they came to me um, because obviously we were trying to stop bits of tissue paper flying all around the yard. It's very, very windy. Um, so I just kind of put it all in there so that it wouldn't get um, ruined on my way back but I need to go through and sort it out. Um, I just bought myself a salmon salad for lunch, so I'm going to go in and eat that. Um, that's probably about it for today. I'm going to a Christmas fair tomorrow, um, but I'm not going to film it because it's going to go up on the blog. So by now, there will be a Christmas gift guide for the Country Homes and Interiors Fair, Christmas fair. Um, which we're going to tomorrow. I've been invited by them um, with a press pass to blog about it. So yeah, hopefully I will find lots and lots of exciting little Christmas gifts that I can put on a gift guide for you on my blog. So I will link to that down below. Um, and then I have another shoot on Saturday. So I will probably film again on Saturday. Unless something spectacular happens this afternoon, but probably not. So I'm going to sign out here and I will see you in a second, which for me will be in two days time. <laughs> The cold one. Good morning. It's Saturday today and it's really, really cold. It's really frosty. Um, we are on our way to a shoot with Shire Horse Babies. Oh, that's helpful. Oh. My face. 
it's right. reflective like of that it. car. Um, yeah, we're going to see and photograph some shy horse babies um, and fully grown ones, I guess. I don't really know. So um, that should be really exciting. I'm really hoping that there's like a little bit of a frost on the fields um, and that it hangs around until we've done our thing. Um, Sam's coming to help, aren't you? Hey, yeah. My well, wingman. No. What? I don't do much helping. Well, you can get ears forward. Yep, I could do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done but a baby the shoot a baby, baby shoot. Yeah. Oh, they're fun because foals don't do as they're told, so you kind of just have to let them get on with it and photograph whatever they give you. Um, so yeah, the reason Sam's coming is because we are going to IKEA at Lakeside afterwards, um, which is always dangerous because there's probably going to be lots of things to buy. Well, I mean, I guess, I'm guessing there is. It's a shop, so that ten, tends to be what they do. Um, yeah, um, but basically the shoot is like 10 minutes from Lakeside, so it didn't make any sense for me to go there, come back and get Sam and then go back to Lakeside. So he's been dragged along, which I know he's absolutely ecstatic about. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all for the minute. Anything else I've got to tell nope. people? Nope. Not from my side. Not from your side? No. You never have anything to tell anyone. <laughs> You lead a very boring life. Don't allow me to speak, ever. I do. No. You just don't want to. Don't see what How much do you love camera. being on the, on the vlog? Not a lot. <laughs> That's it, not a lot. <laughs> there we go. I fought him. We're never going to be one of those like families where the dad vlogs and the mum vlogs and the children vlog and it's just never going to happen. Sorry, guys. I can't photograph you this close, guys. that was um, a different shoot, it was interesting. I don't know if I filmed any, but we also went to see um, a field of cows. I can't remember if I vlogged that or not. Um, but yeah, it was quite a good one. You liked that one, didn't you, Sam? Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. We are now at Ikea. In the queue for food. I mean, it's crazy busy here. Yeah, we have pie, and um, we're gonna get meatballs. We're not sure whether to get mash or chips. Chips? You don't hate mash. We had pie and mash the other night. Did you enjoy that? No, I wanted sausage and mash. You, want all you wanted sausage and mash, did you? Yeah, but you. Didn't. But would you have enjoyed the mash? And if it was like lumpy mash. Maybe. You like lumpy mash. You're so strange. Update, we went for chips. I mean, everyone goes on about these meatballs. I've never had them before. And it doesn't look that inspiring right now. I will say. But I'll let you know. So this excitement here is what we came for. 
because we want to, no we're not taking it home with us, but we want to turn our spare room into a walk-in wardrobe, which it kind of already is, but um, so I might do a little vlog about that perhaps. But yeah, we're going to get this type of thing, like an open wardrobe. You, did you take the leaflet? No, do you want it? Well, yeah. I'm just going to have a look around and come back. Yeah. Focus. When I have children, can someone remind me to do this in their bedroom? So cool. Look. Could have one of these for all my hi ho jewellery. Very exciting. And then over here. So I could have one for his watches and then when he needs oh no, come on. How does this work? When he needs his trousers. Very clever, isn't it? All of this. And then we definitely won't need one of those for my shoes. goodness don't think I would fill it but you know I'd be willing to have a go we're doing well guys Sam's just gone out the front to ring his dad because he was going to come and pick it up um, but we think we might be able to fit it all in the mini although those long poles might be a little bit of a squeeze but we'll see it's going well although I am incredibly bored now I'm done with good morning um Right, I'm going to get really bright now, I think. Oh no, not too bad. Um, it is, oh there we go. <laughs> it is Monday today. Um, I am very aware that I left, I didn't film yesterday because it just wasn't right. I had an emergency shoot yesterday morning um, with a horse being put to sleep, which was very, very sad. Um, so it just wasn't right for me to film that and then yesterday afternoon we ended up going back to Ikea because the things that we were building needed more parts and which by that time I was so done with Ikea like I didn't want to be there so I'm guessing you guys wouldn't have wanted to see that either so I didn't end up filming yesterday but I am aware that I haven't shown you what we were up to I don't think I've ever actually vlogged up my upstairs in my house um, but I'm going to show you what we were doing because I'm so pleased with it. So this here is our brand new walk-in wardrobe which I am absolutely thrilled with. So basically we bought all of these, um, I can't remember what Sam called them, it's like poles basically um, and you but it's like a combination so you can kind of make it exactly as you want it. Um, I wish I'd filmed a before of this room because it looks nothing like this but I am going to do a blog um, about how we turn it into this. Um, please excuse the pink on the tops of the walls, that's not our choice, this is a rented house. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got, um, this is my, one of my spaces, my drawers, my shelves over there, this is all Sam's stuff and then we have our little shoe rack over here and um, I do also have a lot of kind of coats and gilets and stuff in another wardrobe in our bedroom. But I basically wanted um, our bedroom to just be a place to sleep in. I wanted it to be like a nice space and it was just full of clothes. At the moment we have the space, we might as well use it. Um, so I just said, right, all clothes in one room, bedroom is just for sleeping and just a nice space that we can make somewhere we really enjoy spending time. So, you know, we sit up there and watch television a lot. I like having a lay-in. I love our, like, lazy weekends. Um, <coughs> and it just wasn't a space that I was enjoying being in. So this is what happened. We moved all the clothes into here and now um, the next project is to make our bedroom somewhere that we really love. So yeah, that's what we were doing all weekend. We were literally up until one o'clock in the morning on Saturday because Sam was determined to get this stuff done. And then when he found out that he didn't have everything he needed, oh my God, it was not a fun place to be. Um, so yeah, then we had to go back on the Sunday. And then I did a really, really stupid thing. We also went to the dump because as we've been doing this, we've been throwing a lot of stuff out. And I put my keys on top of a box of shoes that I was putting in the clothes bank. Um, I had my car keys and my house keys and I put the keys in the clothes bank oh my god so then we went to Lakeside didn't realize went to Lakeside came back it was about four o'clock on a Sunday which is what time it shuts and we got home and 
I'd realised what I'd done. So we raced over to the dump, which is luckily only about sort of two, three minutes away, really. And they were just shutting up the gate. And I said, like, told them what I'd done. And they went, oh, sorry, it's all locked up. And I was like, um, well, could you unlock it? Because it's my house keys and my car keys. Can we at least have a look? Anyway, they were on top and I found them. <laughs> I did have to do some digging into everyone's dirty clothes, but I did find them and we did get in. <laughs> So yeah, so yes, it was a bit dramatic and not really something I could film. Um, the reason I'm all done up right now is because I've just done a video for Hi Ho for something they're doing over Christmas. Um, and other than that, this morning I am just indoors editing. I've got to go to the post office. I've got to send out lots of my prints and my calendars, which are selling really well. Um, the prints are probably going to be... Um, I'm probably going to like order another run of them and I can order as many as I like of them. So there's not such an urgent rush on them. The calendars, I don't have that many left. So if you wanted one, um, make sure you order one. I will link down below. Same with my gift vouchers. I'm only doing um, one run of those this year. I'm not going to order extras. So once they are gone, and I think there's only 20 left right now. Once they are gone, they're gone. So if you want one of those for someone to, for Christmas, again, links down below. Um, let me know and I will send one out. Oh, and one last thing, my little brother released his new single on Friday night, I think it was. It's called Burns Like Fire. It's absolutely awesome. You might have watched my vlog back in March where I did a behind the scenes because I went to photograph um, behind the scenes of the video shoot for him. Um, so if you did watch that and you've been waiting for the video to come out, I will, again, I will link to that below and I will link to the purchase details um, for his sing single. I think it's already just sitting under the top 100, um, which is a massive achievement, um, considering it's had very, very little promo so far um, and has literally only just come out and considering he hasn't got a huge... Um, record label behind him so we're really really proud and really really excited about that so again uh, all the links below if you want to have a listen if you want to watch the video if you would buy the single we would be super super grateful he's worked so so hard on this honestly I don't know anyone that works harder than my brother does um yeah so I think that's all for this week Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.